why not you just get engaged ah? Then they're like, yeah, why not? Oh, oh, engage, engage. And then they got engaged. <laughs> I wish I invited him so you can see this. <laughs> Would you marry an OnlyFans creator? Yeah. This is your daily catch up. Congratulations. Uh, so there's a Singaporean OnlyFans creator. His name is Titus <laughs> Low. He's 23 years old this year and he just got married. Hey, well done. Man, sir. So his wife is a 21 year old Malaysian influencer called Hello. Cheryl Chin. Malaysian represent, boy. Hey, really young and younger girl. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of a hoo-ha because they met, started dating and got engaged all within a really short time span. And then a lot of people were saying that on only from fans? the official to the proposal was six hours. Huh? From the official. From will you be my girlfriend to will you be my wife was six uh, hours. Uh, six hours? Uh, what is love or? Real one no. <laughs> oh, That's everyone's exact stand, uh. reaction. Yes, yeah. Like when I first met my current wife, right? When I met her, I feel like, oh shit. I want to wife her one day. But no balls with the <laughs> 10 over years. But okay, you know what I mean? Sometimes you know, eh? Six hours, I cannot even decide what I want to watch on Netflix. Eh. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I literally did this. You know, the other day, Ned was like, do you want to watch a movie? I took one and a half hours to scroll through Netflix and I didn't come back with a decision. It's damn difficult anyway. Meanwhile, she finished watching a movie by herself. Correct. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people were saying that this is probably a prank or a publicity stunt because as we all know, the previous latest news on Titus <laughs> is business. that his OnlyFans business basically took quite a hit after he got arrested and right. all that, right? So I think people have been just saying that this is him trying to like get back into the limelight and all that like. Rara, a bit of yeah. publicity and yeah. I mean at least for me like Cheryl Chin is someone that I've not heard about so I guess on paper it looks damn good like you know girls like to find those bad boy kind so he only fans creator make a lot of money doing explicit got content tattoo. then kena some crime stuff uh, got yeah. Kong Xiao that's right. why you're wrong because Cheryl <laughs> says that you? she married Titus because he's patient and plays the piano. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes. Uh. <laughs> Are mm. you either? I can't. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah, yeah. <laughs> Half of us here all can make it. <laughs> that was I'm not least. patient. <laughs> oh, I look for it now. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I saw Titus share it. So we follow each other on Instagram and we got, we got talk sometimes. He shared that video. So I, I clicked to watch it. So I like Titus, a very nice guy. But the video got too much talking at the start. <laughs> la, then I wasn't in the right space to listen to all that You watched the wedding one or the AMA? The, I don't know. Okay. The one that he shared. So I just <laughs> went back to him, told myself I'll watch it another time. And then I just replied, congratulations. And then he replied, haha, thanks bro. It started as a joke. Then after that, I don't know how to reply because I never finished the video. So like, did it also end as a joke? I'm not very sure. Man. Right, right. So I just put haha or I just <laughs> double tapped it, right? <laughs> like, but I, I intended to watch it. Lah. And Bella like, also it. intended to donate the 7 million. <laughs> So then after that, I just thought, okay lah. So throughout this whole period, because I didn't know what I thought I know, I just like, oh, he's married. They're like, yeah, correct. Lah. Then news came out to say, it's a prank. Now I'm like, yeah, okay, like, it could be a prank. I didn't finish the video. <laughs> so, <laughs> At this point, come on, it's not a prank. I'm like, yeah, that was like, yeah, I knew it was not a prank because you told me it only started as a prank. Confusing few <laughs> so days very, for you. I was very confused. <laughs> so it's not a prank. Congratulations. So basically, they were out, they were out <laughs> for, I think, like, supper together. And then Debbie, who is Tian Hao's wife, mm, wife yes, right? Yeah, yes. so that's how they met. They actually met at Debbie's party. Oh, nice. Like, what a, a, match month, a month back. So... When they were out for supper to celebrate like their first first day together or what, right? Then <laughs> Debbie is like celebrating the just first threw day, it right? out there like, why not you just get engaged? Ah? Then they're like, yo, yeah, why not? Oh, oh, engage, engage. <laughs> then they got engaged. <laughs> I wish I invited him so you can see this. <laughs> <laughs> it was the exact reaction. Because he's buff. <laughs> <laughs> then she, yes, engage. Wow, oh, that's f Intense, yeah. Nice. Okay, lah, good lah. Okay, put yourself in like the shoes of his friend, right? Like, say you're one of his closest friends, right? And he tells you that, eh, the girl I just now introduced you to that I met six hours <laughs> ago, I'm going to marry her. What will you all say? No, they were kind of dating for like two weeks to a month already. Okay, yeah, sure. Two, yeah, the girl no, I met so two weeks to a month. He ago. says, I'm gonna marry her, I'll be like, good lah. Huh? No, gonna like intend gonna. to at some but point. But it's like now, then I'll be like, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct. No, okay, la, you see, la, what, what is a decent amount of time to date? If you, let's say he date two years, then he propose, then they really get married, then also, also not an airtight relationship right, at this point. Might as well give it the most romantic start ever. Because mm -hmm. what a bloody story. History is just stories, right? You nice. go back and you you reminisce the certain things, why you fight for this person, why would you sacrifice for this person? You're just telling yourself and recalling stories. And it gave their relationship a damn strong start, yeah. story-wise. 
but also a lack of foundation to last long <laughs> yeah year. like good yeah. story <laughs> <but> <laughs> no, so my point is that you had it later for a year or two the foundation would not have been there, solid there was this like uh, video we did before where we had to interview a bunch of couples I think who got engaged or something like right. that and they all of them got engaged within less, less than, than a year, year of right, right, right. damn interesting yeah. like a lot of them just within the first kind of like week or so right they already kind of know that this is the person I'm going to marry something that, that resonated a lot with me is that there are couples who date for like five years, six years, and then they get married and then it doesn't work out. Mm. Yeah. Then there are couples that date for a week, get married, and then it works out. Mm. So yeah. if there was truly a formula for this, we would have figured it out by now, but it, there isn't. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So it's very interesting. Like, there's no yeah. way to really give advice. I mean, Correct. Like, the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. like the indication of how long they've dated will, will have no bearing on whether they will last for the rest of their lives. Yeah. But at the same time, it's so scary, right? Because like how many people dare to take this gigantic yeah. leap of faith, right? Mm. But I would wager, right, this leap of faith would give them more chance in future than let's say another couple dated two, three years quietly, got engaged quietly and just live their life. But can you imagine like you haven't even Wait. reached the point where you learn about each other's like pet peeves and like love language and like all these like other things yeah. that maybe I'm so indoctrinated in like social like constructs, right? But like now you're gonna dis- you're gonna get married, like, you're gonna live together. Her, like, okay, yeah. You haven't discussed that yet. Correct. Correct. <laughs> you, six hours, you, know? you don't know whether you're a flat earther, you know? Like maybe he's so convinced that like, the, the world is flat or like you suddenly live together and then like he leaves his underwear everywhere or like she doesn't like yeah. to wash the dishes and then like right. you both hit Maybe she like that he leaves his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> can <No>. sell <laughs> the argument to that is that I mean and both of you having been in such long relationships right <laughs> why must you so in, in a great way guys do these little little things really like as red flags do they really contest that bond or are these just little things like maybe ah, they have reached a level things. of maturity where it's like we know that even though we are going to discover these red right flags that it's not going to matter we are going to mm. overcome it either way because of this love we share you know yeah. like is it will you ever get to that point do you think it's just that they discovered it earlier. I feel like it, it definitely is little things, but little things that, that add up. And so like even the four or five years that you're together, right? It's not so much to see whether, oh, this person's pet peeves, actually I'm okay with. It's more to like, okay, this is your buttons. This is where you get triggered. This is where I get triggered. Now we learn, now we're okay. Okay lah, then get married. Because like, I know a lot of couples who like live in each other's parents' house, don't live together until they get married right? and then suddenly realize, Even wow. when they stay, together they stay over a lot it's still not the full unleash ah or like staycations yeah. not enough so. my pet used to come to my place and stay maybe three four times a week on average and so we thought staying nice. together we know it but it's not so it's like for example if if there's pee on the toilet seat she don't give a shit it's not her house but, but then but when my parents <laughs> live with us for a while and then my my dad accidentally pee on the seat these things bother her now mm. like oh i didn't know but parents aside right what was like an unleash <laughs> <laughs> Like the first unleash you discover about each other. Story time. Yeah. yeah you you also then, you also. Uh, don't have. Oh, but it's not married. <laughs> <laughs> We're interrupting this broadcast with a special announcement. We are hiring! Let's go. If you look down below, we have a link that will bring you to all the positions that you can help us fill. We would love to have you like and also like, share, subscribe this video. Thank you. To answer your question point blank, right? I feel like it's a personality type. Does it feel like each other is malleable and committed or not? Because pet peeves are not all from birth and before you met, right? Like you will get new ones and then new things that that person have been doing for five years can suddenly annoy you also. Yep. Mm. Yeah. And so that, that comes kind of with feeling out like whether this person is kind of on the same wavelength with you, which yeah. I would like to argue you can feel that out within the first month of dating somebody yeah it's so true. then at that point you kind of know that already which is what probably gave them the confidence to do this yeah stuff. yeah yeah i remember watching the video right like most of the people that got engaged and married within a year they tend to be a little bit older so i don't know i mean i'm sure their love is real and like i'm very happy for them but whether at the back of their mind oh i'm getting older it's time to really find a partner time to settle down so there was they're a little bit more like the ready <laughs> i do want to use the word <laughs> she i'm so sorry any of you i think jackie was one of them <laughs> okay. he always say that his wife saved his life he straight up he go out he go on dating apps he tell people that uh um, oh, he's gonna kill me. Eh? No, I, I think he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they watch this every night yeah. at home. Oh, really? Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey. He go and I think he tell he tell people his first date like the next girl I date I'm gonna marry. Like he gets that out like real quick. Mm. So Which is okay lah. So much pressure for the next so much pressure for the, no, right. But then for his case, Liru is like same. Right. right. Uh, wow. Yeah. Married. So it was really perfect. But I wonder, right? As in. I mean, I would like to give them the benefit of the doubt and believe that they're actually in love lah. But 
But it's nothing to do with you, lah. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> they don't need your benefit of doubt, lah. But go go comment, comment anyway. She do not really. So that's another be hostile. I was trying to reel you back. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Straits Times put an article after a TikTok video that Titus made, which was basically saying that, hey guys, I think like we are not right for each other, lah. So uh, we decided we are better off alone. But then at the end of Titus's TikTok video was like the he Chris did. Chris oh. Jenner meme. Uh, so what is the sorry? The Chris Jenner meme is basically. Like, like psych, like you got pranked. Okay, which means that video not real lah. So they put an article with the headline saying former OnlyFans, oh no, they say former OnlyFans, creator Titus Low reveals that his surprise engagement was a prank. Basically, they didn't get the, they didn't get the joke lah and then he posted a <laughs> photo kissing Cheryl and then saying that Shrey Stein is a boomer. <laughs> okay, okay, so just to clarify okay. for all the other boomers, I'll they are definitely married for they are real. definitely married for real. Okay. To be fair, they're not married lah. Engaged. Oh, I but thought they, they got did, married. Uh, the whole like you're I saw sick cake. and when you are not sick. <laughs> oh, they did already. Yeah. Uh. So they did the vows already. But it's like one random guy lah. Like didn't look like a priest or what. You just online. Oh, he's in Malaysia, ma. So I usually think shit about Malaysia. Our wedding wow, Malaysian legit, fans, uh. we love very much. <laughs> No, okay. In my head, right, I'm thinking, right, like, mm, let's get in your head. The pressure of Dude, dating. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure of dating, like, Titus Lodo. His penis is everywhere. I've never seen it, though, to be fair. But only you one. Sure. I, I saw it through the phone, but his hand was holding his dick, so I like, never really see it. Like, I remember oh, yeah. seeing the, it, the, but the lies he tells like, himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> But we all be comfortable dating somebody that, that has really, in all sense of the word, like mm. put themselves out there. Like, like if you were to date a girl that has done nude photos publicly before. Ah, like but I feel like nude photos and say prostitution, respect to the profession, right? Whatever floats your boat, whatever mm -hmm. needs to get done, mm -hmm. right? Good. But I feel like that's very much different. Yeah, it is. Uh. Nobody argue with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Titus Low is not that level, you see. No, I think he's not a prostitute. But, but I think the news yeah. are, are not as bad, it's, right? Yeah, it's images and photography as opposed to know that hundreds of people have. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit more palatable as a partner. So yeah. you're okay, lah. I would like to think so, lah, but I don't know, lah, you know. I feel like it's a flex, eh? Like, especially if I was single and then, like, a girl who does nudes, suddenly I get together her, it's like, wow, all these guys all wish they could be me, but I'm me. But what if she's not all that? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, because. The, like, I mean, like, we start beyond not every physical, every OnlyFans creator make good money, eh? Maybe she's still trying, you know what I mean? Okay, then get okay, like okay, two okay. subs, then a sub is a $4 sub, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, then, but she still want to do, because she's a passion, ma. <laughs> wow, they want them, wow, them shit. It's like, will you be the one to tell her, like, I think Babe, you, please. Yeah. yeah, no, but you see, you make it about yourself. You say, I'm I'm not comfortable. You don't say you, well, you're really bad. But, it's like, but then that's why I dated you, because you push me to pursue my dreams. Uh, Wait, what? That sounds like a pimp. So then I'll be the one that, I'll be the one that subscribe. I'll be the one that will make like 10 different accounts and subscribe yeah. so that she thinks she got fans. Uh, right. But it's only me. That's so you're, you're actually fans. paying a subscription for your girlfriend. Is that prostitution? <laughs> so you're the biggest <laughs> simp. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, because I, I always wonder like if I were to really date somebody like that, right? Like say they are like mid-tier one, right? Mid-tier what? Mid-tier like, only those fans. Con like content oh, this oh. kind of content creator. La. I thought mm. your partner is mid-tier. That's like this one. Yeah, <laughs> as in, if they are mid-tier, then they are most likely they no, are- No, bobao, bobao. <laughs> is it? Like five like, ugly ten. ones They're that do- They're just an undiscovered gem. Then- <laughs> Correct, correct. I'm wondering if, like, would I then push and help her to build a business bigger? Like couple business. Oh, yeah, on, yeah, 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 almost. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. okay, like, you can use my dick, like, first, but don't show my face. <laughs> you something, get something like that, like, something mm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I scared I over, like, direct, or <laughs> I start to <laughs> help her build her content up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transition. Pussy shot. <laughs> it makes sense because like like uh, when ever like um, influencers get together right, then both of their accounts usually increase together. Mm -hmm. So then you do that for OnlyFans, oh. It's like when uh, Shawn Mendes and um, together Camila Cabello. Camila Cabello got together, right? It's so crazy that their song Senorita became like top ten most streamed songs for like years. I think until today, it's still one of the top. Is it? Because they got together. Because of that relationship. I thought it's because people just like Spanish songs like Despacito. But it's in English. To oh yeah. <laughs> only the word senorita and like Boomer. one verse. <laughs> I, know, I, know, so just one I think one small verse was in Spanish. What oh. is despacito? Uh? Slowly. Desperate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All the no desperate. Way. It means uh, go slow or slowly. That's why he slows down at that part. Despa but the word though is so strong. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I, re I respect somebody right who oh. who can go and monetize <laughs> something like that. Like the fact that they if you know that this is something you can leverage on yeah. to monetize and everything right. Right? That you would go and do it, like the you hustle. dare to do it, right? Mm. Yeah, 
if right now that you you literally just take a photo of yourself, don't even need to be naked, eh. Just like maybe show a half a butt cheek or whatever, right? <laughs> and you are making like a few thousand dollars on the site every month. Why aren't you doing it? It also depends what you're comfortable with. Like by right, you can go and donate sperm for a hundred dollars. Where? No, you see, <laughs> no, yeah. no, but you see hundred dollars, right? Versus like thousands, kind of like just, mm. I just post a few photos of myself every day. Like that's crazy. Eh? Mm. Honestly, I feel like if show face, I like 60% okay. If no show face, I'm 120% okay. In fact, you yeah, will yeah. score them if they don't do it, right? I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you sub also, you pay. So you feel the pain. So you can, you can remind her, say, you very long never put up content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Must Once understand the audience. Pain, yeah. <laughs> if net and pet, Decide to to want to be OnlyFans. Yeah, supportive and Over, want to, and like want to show why. face. Yeah, I th- I think it's about the why, right? If it's about the money, then there's other ways to make money, yeah. ma. But if it's like for self empowerment because it's something that she really really wants to do or just try or what, then like I can kind of see it. But to me, it's like okay, like, let's think about this holistically, right? Long term, right? If you say <laughs> want to work in MNCs, etc., no. you know something like this might come and bite you in the ass next time. <laughs> Not literally. Could be your boss. <laughs> 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 so like, I think, yeah, like it depends. I mean, Ned, Ned wouldn't do it lah, but if I had a partner who wanted to do it, then really have to explore But if she just wanted avenues. to, because on the site, it's like $6,000 every month. Ah, then okay lah. That's good money that I can't provide lah. <laughs> <laughs> right. then, then great, let's all enjoy. Hey, if Pat were to do it, no, if it's for money, then no need la. Wow, yeah. the man provides. Yeah, yeah. She just thinks it's fun and she wants to show her body and feel empowered. I'll say we do it in phases. Like without face, for example, first. Or we do like cover the face or okay. sexy first. Then if you regret, you regret. It's it's a pseudonym. There's no face, untraceable. Mm. So you get a pawn name. Step. Yeah, but to be honest, once we do that and then she tells me that yeah, okay, I still want to go and do full fledge. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's gonna be a problem. Ah, he chose the honest route. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's also what? gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I would try not to be like, no, 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 and discouraging at first. Yeah. I would hopefully help her see yeah. where, Why I, uh, where yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah. from. If at the end of the day, she'd be like, yeah, okay, so far, so good, so far, so good, you know? The, the orange show that. <laughs> right, what I, what I, what I, <laughs> people already type, oh my God, is that pet? Is that pet already, right? And she still owns, right? My Votari, I think I will Votari. Minus the fact that it's explicit content and it's maybe something oh, that is deemed a little bit more private, right? If pet were to say that she's, she doesn't like that you are sharing like all these stories about your own life and even your relationship online, then to me, that sounds the same. Is that justifiable to you? She says she's not comfortable. But it's not the same one. But it is, right? It's something private that you all have, ma. And then you kind of like sharing it. Yeah. Private like what? Like a- like, yeah, Stories of your relationship on, and whatnot. Yeah. Like, like her not happy that you don't like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> But it's so okay she legit not happy. Yeah, but she shared it on IG yeah. story also. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel like this is a very early red flag that I will have gotten other signals of. You imagine you see a girl, like for me, la, if you see a girl for like one, two months later, maybe she was a girlfriend already, then you want to take a picture, then she's like, can you don't post, can you don't post, can you don't post. I just feel like, are you ashamed to be with me? Like yeah. don't want to post about it. Like almost like they're trying to hide it. Eh? But yeah, almost as though you are afraid to have to answer to somebody if we don't work out. Mm. But that's my very cynical mm. and maybe low esteem way of thinking, which probably then wouldn't have gotten to this this stage of our yeah. relationship. Right. No, so so if we go back to like like you and Pat, right? Like how and then she says she wanted to explore this already, right? Then how would you justify you not being comfortable and thus her not being able to embark on that or continue that to pursue it? No, no it, it's gonna be for me, what, what you know what I mean? Mm. It has to be for me. Yeah. So she has to make I, that sacrifice. I, like. I have to tell her what I will go through, ma. And then if I go down this route, if for example, I feel like I'm mostly anonymous also. Mm. Then actually, I got nothing to lose. Like. No, but nobody but will know it's her. People will come to me and tell me that, hey, that's your wife. Yeah, so, yeah, it's up to your wife. You know mm. what I mean? Like now, when someone goes, like, hey, hey, John Pat, then we immediately can say, hey, like, hey, thanks for watching. You know? But can you imagine if one of us does OnlyFans? Then it's like, hey, are you Pat? I rubbed up to you. <laughs> then it's like, then do you say thanks for watching? Because, like, am I that grateful? You're something. <laughs> so, will it solve it if she's anonymous? <laughs> yeah, I feel like anonymous has a possibility, has a realm of possibility. If she wants to explore, right. not for money. I think my, my dream, right? is find some girl that's steady to do this kind of stuff and to make good money. Then you do like live camping Then together. we just go and, yeah, just go and travel the world. I help her shoot, then we just post make money. Mm. Then just go and have fun, sex capades, you know? Yeah. Shooks, yeah? It's the longevity in that lah. Long. No, Wh- whether people still want to, to keep watching you, so. huh? How often you watch the same porn? Like how often do people want to keep watching? No, that's why they need to travel. Yeah, but you will see how much money porn make. Nah. <laughs> yeah, like within the span of years. <laughs> so you gotta keep finding the new audience. Find only one every location is a new team. Oh. <laughs> so you must include new talent. 
difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just the same props. You just rearrange and you the difference. So you got to kena kako. I think there's enough proof of <laughs> concept <laughs> 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 online, I, I guess. I've also had this very strange encounter before, like with, like I think like several people whereby we are chatting, right? And then they say that I cannot date you because you are a public figure. Then first of all, I'm like, I'm not. And then secondly, right? So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, ma. Okay, I, I get what they mean. I get what they mean. But at yeah. the same time, like, huh? Why does it matter? Mm. And then it leads me down the concept of like privacy, right? The subject of privacy, which I still don't understand. Like, what is there to be private about? Is it like hiding? Like, why like, do you so need you're to? you're asking people that, for example, private their Insta Instagram account. You, your question is, why do you private it, lah? Yeah, sure. Why do you private your Instagram account? Yeah. I think it's just that like, uh, so my Instagram used to be private like until like we started this thing right there. I realized, ah, uh, no point. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sharing my life, even though no. my mom also. So, block <laughs> 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 hey, 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 My mother yeah, no Instagram. Yeah, yeah. My mother calls Telegram Instagram. Oh. <laughs> she keeps asking me yeah. to send her things on Instagram. Now I like. <laughs> <laughs> then one day she showed up from a mammogram. Then she's like, what? Oh, As you check for breast cancer, ma? Yeah, the body okay. check is really important. Yeah. Case. So, anyway. Healthy. As I just realized that like, anyway, I'm still choosing what to upload onto my account. Hmm which I have not uploaded for two years. <laughs> <laughs> so that I still have some control over that loss. Hey, fun fact guys. Uh, so Denise still had, if you scroll long enough, you can see Denise in long hair. <laughs> <laughs> Go find I it. Go this is immediately can't. private. I, I just realized this last <laughs> week. No, but you get what I mean? Like who cares? And if you care, then what are you doing with your own life? No, if you care, you care. Why? And so why and, must be your But why do we need to care about those people? No, you don't need to care. Yeah, yeah no, that's why I'm questioning why these people place emphasis on privacy in, in this sense. La. No, I, I, I get your point of inquisitiveness of why do people private their profiles, but also why do you care if they private their profiles? No, no, no. I'm going back to what I was talking about initially, which was that like a person will choose not to date me just because I'm deemed a public figure. Right, like, right. I don't understand. I think for them maybe is that like they want their partner to be theirs, right? And it feels that if you are in the public space, you are on YouTube, on TV or whatever, you don't belong to just her, you belong to fans. You belong to the public like essentially because you have exposed yourself to, you know, whether it's your personal life or whatever. So like, I feel like you can never have a fully intimate relationship. They always feel like they are competing with their fans for your attention. Lor. But I feel like kind of the opposite though. Don't you think that there is that layer of like, this is the you that everyone else Elsa sees and yep. this is the you that only I get to see. But then they only will realize that if they start dating you long and they start yeah. going through a process and realize, oh no, yeah. like he can finally be this person around me. But yeah. then the initial impression they probably won't see long. Right. I think it's more superficial than that. Let's hear it. <laughs> I think marriage not on the books yet. She's not thinking that far along with you. She's just going to go back and tell, hey, you know that, that guy from TSL, uh, I'm dating him. Then her friends will judge her. <gasps> I think it'll be a flex, yeah. It's like a, no, oh. I, I think the flex will be like, hey, you know the, the guy from TSL wanted to date me, but I said no, yeah. Then it's like, bam. Ah, that's the triple flex. Oh, that's why I know that. <laughs> okay, okay, I got it already. I got it. <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a friend their private their Instagram account and he very very upfront at least and he told me because get more followers right it is true I have yeah. a friend that uh, I'm not a friend I knew of someone <laughs> who every two weeks were private and private private and private yeah because oh, that's ridiculous. people cannot see your stuff unless they follow then it encourages them to follow yeah yeah I remember when Instagram first came out a lot of people were doing it just for the followers hmm. and they really escalated <laughs> them fast from like 100 you, to yes, 150 the effect on me is, yeah. I was like nah too much eh. because now I need you to approve me eh. he's like I don't want to stalk you and let you know I'm stalking you. Right? Mm. So, nah, yeah, well, no, I'm but what, what it does also is that it creates retention because now if they want to unfollow, right, it's like, wow, I have to go and request again if I want to follow again. So <laughs> it, keeps, has really it, thought this it keeps people followed. <laughs> you thought about it, you thought about it. As you started to grow in terms of like, like becoming like recognized publicly, right? Did less that affect so. your relationship? Uh -huh. No, no, uh -huh. not really. I think it was because we could monetize it. So Pat just knows that, okay, la, this is the game, this game we play. But the truth is that I'm the same person. Maybe there is more of me, the part that you see me cry, but I'm not that kind that would have a false sense of masculinity or so. Like if I feel like my ego then bruised, I will like show you one. Oh, my ego can bruise guys, you know what I mean? Or like if I'm emotional about it, I'll just say I'm emotional about it. So it's, it's not that much for Pat. Yeah, but I think what Pat get very irritated by is when people say, can I take a photo? And I say, can they pass their phone to Pat? And that's a bit irritating. Lah. Like you can, but you must ask. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Can you, you don't and assume that, that you must person. say thank you. You mm. like, you know, sometimes oh. they just like. How they just just hand oh. it over? Sometimes they just hand or sometimes they can't pass take. Then like pet 
just oh okay not even looking really it's not like can then you have an option to say can or can yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. no it's just it cannot stay <coughs> then they just go and post ready you see take the them awkward one got low EQ people or kids uh, they walk up to you in a, like maybe like three or four of them then they ask can I take a photo with you then and I'm with my friends or whoever right so okay can then they will hold their phone and stand there sometimes they don't even take out their phone then I say I just use my own phone and take <laughs> me <laughs> what you want me to do then, then they take out the phone and they like that they are like, I'm so take the photo, man. <laughs> yeah. wow, oh, it's like this one, it's like this one. So if, if you go to like la. real celebrities, right? They usually take the selfie for. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they ask for your phone to take the selfie. If you were going to snap it, they would ask for it. So they snap it. So they control what you have. Uh, mm. Like they get their angle. Ma. It feels like great, you know? That person take your phone. He's not too high and mighty to want your phone. But actually that person is controlling what angles you have. Yeah. Or what media you have on your phone. Sekarang that person's like, ah, not yet, delete. Ah, try again. And I think, and <laughs> actually another aspect that I'm curious about when you come to this, right? Is that I think for you and Pat, you are quite public mm. in terms of like you share a lot about your lives. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm saying a but. No, I, I'm just curious, like, how do you all determine what is shareable and what is not? When to share, what shouldn't be shared? You uh, have always been like that. Like to mm. share. Yeah. But then, because you It's, it's you not are, like we're famous, you know what I mean? Until what fame can get into her and change us. I think <laughs> not, not so much that, la, but that. then, like, because you have your own boundaries, she has her own, ma. Right. So then, when it overlaps, right, then how do you all... We don't air dirty laundry. If we think the other person look ugly, we just... Can I put some... Because <laughs> 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 sometimes you optimize for yourself, ma, your own feet, ma. That's true. Yeah. Or is it an issue if, say, like, when you all go out to do something, like, more fun, right? Then, like, I don't know how much time you all actually spend, like, capturing things instead of, like... Yeah, is it like, a, okay, oh, no, 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 no. now it's the IG time. Okay, yeah, then we yeah, can yeah, go yeah. Yeah, then now it's like uh, we are living in the moment time I don't know my IG story very low quality I'm trying to work on that <laughs> it's very you low know, quality keep it this way it's very real I have a lot of friends that would they would IG story but then they don't post maybe because they are legit famous and so they don't want people to look for them perhaps right. so they will post later but then later it's like wow got proper caption got all the taggings they filter nicely like, and nice boxes then like Android cannot copy and paste <laughs> on IG video right so <laughs> I just go on. Mine is all live. Mine is like live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Just go and never tag anybody. If you watch one minute, you're exactly yeah. there. The filter I use is the one to the left of the bar. Because <laughs> the one on the right side give me like ears or some shit, right? So I just use the left. It's Very smooth. real. Yeah. Hello, everybody. You've reached the end of the episode. You Thank you for watching. What? Sorry, you really ruined my closing. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Please continue. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Adios is what we've learned. <laughs> Senorita. Senoritas and seniors. <laughs> and despacitos. Meanwhile, hello, Ahwat. I met a guy called Ahwat last night. He asked whether I can say hi to him. Really? Oh, hi, hi Ahwat. Why oh, are you so meeting you the Ahwats at night? Yes, yeah. Why, no, you don't know what? What?